It's Hugh Grant and Simon Helberg. <laughs> You had a Malibu and pineapple, and you bloody loved it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is my tipple. Yeah, do you want one? Oh, yeah, absolutely. See, what do you like? Do you like Malibu and pineapple? Let's do it, yeah. Yeah, right. why not, love? What That's... could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> We've never really got drunk together. No, we never did get drunk. Let's get That's drunk a lot now. of Malibu. Yeah. Is that real Malibu? <laughs> oh, I treat my when they come on, they don't get short measures for me, love. <laughs> Yes. Then we start taking off our clothes in part two. Okay. <laughs> I can't have alcohol because I've got IBS. You Go know? on, have a bit because I want to see you have an no, IBS. No, I can't. <laughs> not, no, that's, that's IBSist. <laughs> now, Simon, people over here will know you best from the sitcom The Big Bang Theory. Uh. Do you have any idea how big it is over here? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I don't know. I, I, there was a lot of screaming when we came out, but I think that was for Hugh, so... I, I, yeah, it was for me. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it is on Channel 4's other channel, E4, all the time. OK, I know. I'm sorry for that. That's like, you have nowhere to escape, but... No, it's seriously, it's on all the time. This is in the Radio Times. Look, that is genuinely... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the time. It's like a prison. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> I've sentenced you to a life of, of Big Bang Theory. <laughs> How you've never done a sitcom? I think I'd be rather good. I don't I, you think it'd be good in a sitcom? I quite like you. In the Pauline Quirk and all that in like a... <laughs> you know, I can see you doing that. I know. I like those old ones from the 70s. You know, My Wife Next Door, things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now. Would um, you ever do a sitcom with me? No. <laughs> I haven't even finished the sentence. No, you, you, don't, you don't need to. <laughs> no, go on, go on. No, cos they always have one who's dead posh and then one who's, like, common as muck, don't they, and they're like... It's funny already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't even need a script. We Not could really. just add lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, listen, you're working together at the moment uh, in your new film, Florence Foster Jenkins, but you're starring with Meryl Streep. <laughs> now, with Meryl, no other actor has ever been nominated for more Oscars. Why do you reckon she's so bloody good? Why is she so much better than anyone else? That's true, right? Yes, she's kind of scary. It's it? terrifying. I, yeah, <laughs> we were we were scared. I thought he would be super super cool, but you're Au not. Au contraire, <laughs> I was stuffed with calms. Do you know calms? Oh okay. yeah, yeah, those delicious. Ones just, yeah, yeah. Was... <laughs> and rescue remedy, on my tongue, in my ears, up my nose, yeah. up my bum, so up your bum, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if you're calm, up your bum. Oh my <laughs> God. Do you know what I think? Meryl might have been a bit nervous too. Yes. Not not of us, obviously, but. I think she gets... It's touching. There she is with 18 Academy Award nominations. And wow. I think on big days she was a bit nervous. Sometimes I had to hold her hand in the scene and it was cold, like a, like a, a nervous person. Yeah. Oh. It's not possible, is it? Do you get nervous before you do your oh. Big Bang? Excuse me, it? it's oh. Alan Carr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, here, look. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Carr. Not so chatty now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get back to the kitchen, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you want to explain who Florence Foster Jenkins is for anyone who hasn't heard of her before? Because I watched it, and you know when it says, based on true events, you're like, yeah, yeah, whatevs. <laughs> but then at the end, you're like, oh, my God, it's an amazing true story. Well, uh, the tr I'm almost too drunk to speak now, but... <laughs> oh, I like it. Come on, you who knows <laughs> you. <laughs> I'll have you signing up for that sitcom before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Florence Foster Jenkins. Well, she was this, um... Yeah, she was this millionaires okay. in uh, New York in the 1940s. She, she ran all these classical music societies, and she started to believe that she herself was a wonderful classical singer. Mm. And she wasn't just bad, she was so hysterically, appallingly bad that she became a sensation. And uh, people from all over America used to come to her concerts and laugh at her. And she was so deluded 
uh, that she didn't really realise that they were laughing at her and she still thought she was marvellous and she never really realised. We've actually got a clip of her singing. This is the real Florence Foster Jenkins singing Queen of the Night. And Subo would have sounded like you know when you saw Subo come on. <laughs> you know, oh, this is what she's going to think. Well, obviously, Subo had an amazing voice. But yeah, people thought though that she was a bit cuckoo because of syphilis. Because yeah. it was quite poignant for me to watch the film because I've lost so many lovers to syphilis. <laughs> See, that might be true. I know. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what face to make. Yeah. Did you guys cure it over here? No, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, for... and because uh, you know it is National Syphilis Day, which you know that, yes. Spread, spread the word. <laughs> Henry VIII had syphilis. How do you know? He had it so badly that his coffin leaked when they carried it through London. Oh, that is disgusting. Do you think you'll keep that in the show? <laughs> is that true? Yeah. It's like IBS, I think, your, your coffin. <laughs> IBS has nothing to do with syphilis. <laughs> Now, Simon, in the film, you play Florence's pianist, Cosme McMoon. Were they really your hands on um, the piano? Uh, that, yes, I did play. Those are my hands, and they're connected all the way <laughs> to my brain, and, uh, and everything <laughs> works together most of the time, yeah. Because yeah. you hear rumours, because someone told me, you know Elton John? That's not actually his fingers, that's two packs of Richmond sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Being operated. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. Saturday! Saturday! <laughs> He's sitting there like this. <laughs> Doing a Sudoku. <laughs> that's why I heard. That's why I heard. And you had to play the piano in the film Music and Lyrics with Drew Barrymore. Was that really you playing that? Yes, it was. <laughs> that was it, that was it. In you many lying? ways, it was more clever of me to play the piano in that film than it was of Simon to play in this one because yeah. I had to learn the piano from scratch for that film. You never Whereas did. Whereas he is a concert pianist from mm. the age of You're six or something. Very kind. But really? I, from yeah. six? No, he's being kind. From ten. <laughs> <laughs> no. You so learned from scratch. That's crazy. Like, not at all. Nothing ever. No, they had to put my fingers in the right places and then <laughs> just learn it over and over again. So I'm wrapping a, my knuckles. A hand handler that just... With them. Yeah. That's when you know you've made it when someone actually moves <laughs> your finger. <laughs> Roll out the barrel. <laughs> well, let's take a look at a clip. This is Hugh and Simon's characters preparing for a latest concert in the wonderful Florence Foster Jenkins. <laughs> The film was shot up in Liverpool. Is it true there was a bounty on offer for anyone who could take a selfie with you two? Not me. I think uh, Hugh and Meryl. Well, there it is. What, what's... I, I... It. Oh, Liverpool restaurant offers three meals for first <laughs> With Meryl Streep and Hugh Grant, you're right, not you. No, no. <laughs> I wasn't even dessert. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't aware of this. Um, didn't you know about it, this? No, I didn't know, but occasionally people do. And I'm always lovely. Because <laughs> I can't imagine you being lovely. No, I think uh, I think if someone's like, hey, Hugh, can take a photo too. <laughs> Hugh, what a little hair look. Do you fancy me in a restaurant? <laughs> I imagine you'd be quite angry. Au contraire. Au contraire. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, no. Are you, are you quite oh, nice? I'm a lovely, lovely man. And I'm <laughs> very, very welcoming and nice. How did you make of the accent? Because he's very phlegmy, it's, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I can... Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because the Beatles are all very calm and they don't like... Oh, them. yeah. That's <laughs> all, yes, but the cab driver was like, you know, the girls here have the big boobs. <laughs> you like the boobs over here, because in London they're going to have the boobs. What? That, he that's, says... that's Baghdad. I <laughs> tell <laughs> <So> you... <laughs> have you ever played a scouser in a film? I'm remarkably versatile as an actor. <laughs> And in my repertoire, yes, yeah. of course I've been a scouser. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm producing the Derek Akora story. Have you heard of him? <laughs> and I'm looking for a lead. I, I... am your man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Have you heard of Derek Akora? No. 
he's like a psychic and he has a, a, a helper called Sam. Oh. And he contacts the dead and he goes all over and he, um, whoever he finds on the other side has got a Scouse accent. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he had, there was an Egypt special and he went to speak to the ghost of Tutankhamun. <laughs> and Tutankhamun was like, yes, I've been dead for thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> we Nefertiti. <laughs> I'll send you the script, yes, you? you say, well, that's two scripts now, but yeah, send them, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good luck with the film. Like oh, I said, it's you. genuinely brilliant. Wh when's it out? Uh, here in May, May the 6th, I think, or yes, something like that. May 6th. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Give it up for Hugh Grant and Simon Helberg, everybody! <laughs>